like this week on Stealth Diggers, we're gonna have a lot, a lot of fun. We've just been out and about, having a great time. Uh, we're gonna go down over into the, this, this, just watch. I'll be right back! We're at the site that we call the last virgin of Saskatchewan. I found something really good. Really, really good. Looking through iron and sheet metal, and I just popped a button out of the ground. I think it's another one. Yeah. It's the old one. See, it's the old crooked neck. Oh, yeah. Beauties. Oh, yeah. Beauties. another one. <laughs> Holy mackerel! Drive? Here, I'll teach you to drive. Well, I got some stuff to carry. I'm going to beam you right into the shack. You ready? Here we go. All right. Okay, so I'm going to get the stuff and meet Lou inside. back. Lou! Did you have a good trip, buddy? Well, that was different, Keebs. Hey, I know. Uh, did Lou take the jump well on this end? Perfect. Oh, just just like a cat landed right on his feet. Yeah. Well, of course. He's uh, doing all right. Lou's a circus cat. I love him. And, and he knows how to drive now. It's like, it's like a clown car out there now. So, that's amazing. But what happened to you Oh. Between the week when I had to walk all the way back to get here Ooh, to this episode. This is in my back pocket. Oh, there's yeah. the spent crystal. See? Yeah. I knew that thing was bad. Yeah. It's a right. clunker. Yeah. And I see you have something. Yeah, I was chasing down uh, Donnie Bailey. Uh, uh, I went to Kansas City, something about a Jag. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that before. Yeah, and so uh, he wasn't there. And neither was the Jaguar. I thought he said Detroit, so I went there. He wasn't there. He was actually in Chicago where I found him. And... Give me the package. The east side or the south side? Uh, back in the good old days, back in the... It, it was in the heat of the summer night, that's all right. In the land of the dollar bill? Yeah. Right. It's like the, the new packages, they're like rub-offs. Yeah. Oh, oh, Cat oh, Stewart! There's a theme here. There is. Okay, oh. awesome. Well, we will get to that, but we have yeah. a whole bunch of exciting stuff to do this week in this episode. Yeah, just wait till you meow see you. All right, well, a couple weeks ago, as you saw, we took Bill and Cliff to the last virgin in Saskatchewan. What an amazing day. Yeah, I was blown away by that day. I can't even tell you how enjoyable it was to just see them experience that. Yeah. Colonialism just flying out of the ground. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so, of course, as it's been the theme this year, we wanted to do a recap. A second day. A second day. Right. Now, here's the kicker. As I was making the last Virgin of Saskatchewan episode, I noticed that Mr. JMO and <laughs> Keebs yes, and you. had both been tickling around that area. Which, there was a lot of junk over there. It was a lot of sheet metal, tin, uh, but then all of a sudden you get that occasional little big thing. Oh, look. And so, Stay tuned, watch this. We're gonna return there for a recap and 
We're going to show you just how remarkable it is in this hobby and why it is important to keep revisiting sites. Oh wait, we made that one quick stop in that cornfield we wanted to hit. Before we went to the Virgin site. Correct. So let's show them that because mm. that was like a quick, whoa. And how different this is, we're out in this cornfield. Normally we're out being stealthy in the woods, you know. Uh, when nobody can see us. People drive by, we wave. Hey! I was about ready to give up in this field. How about you? I dug about 10 cans. Same here. About 10, 12. Numerous shotgun shells, pull tabs. But I found something really good. Really, really good. In fact, it's it's the second one of, of its kind I've ever found. <laughs> I can see it. Do you want to see it? It's a little derringer. It's got wooden scales. Yeah, yeah. It's not, you know, terribly old, but it is real. Want to see if it shoots? <laughs> uh, yeah, huh? Neat, huh? Very neat. Man. All right, let's, uh... Lou, get out of the beam. We keep telling him. You know what's going to happen, buddy. All right, why don't you come over? He just, he wants to be in the shop. All right. You know how he is. So you saw the dig, and here it is, um, as best as it can be cleaned up. It's frozen, frozen in time. It's uh, nickel plated and it's kind of falling apart, but it's actually uh, a Davis over under 38 Derringer. Rock and roll. Yeah. Hoochie coo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I told you hippies to get out of here. And that's great because that sight, nothing but beer cans and a gun. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right, well, let's continue on with the uh, the dig. Hold on to something. Hold on tight. And then we'll, we'll, somewhere in the middle, we'll, yeah. Well, hold on loosely, but just don't let go. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're on ground. Keebs and I wanted to come back for a recap, obviously. Swung around, looking for a culture signal, 75, 76, and I got something in the hole. Yep, looks like a button to me. With shank, beautiful dandy. It's got some etching around the edges, but 1700 dandy button, probably from a coat. Nice, good start. About six, seven inches down. They had horses. It's a nice shoe. Lost it soon after having it on. You can still see the detail of the. So this is ringing up 86 both ways. Uh, I'm going to try doing a live dig. I have the camera on a tree branch. Let's see what happens when I put it down to where I need to dig. Oh good, it's in the old good soil. The farmer soil. Wouldn't you know it? It's a great big honking piece of uh, lead. Probably to make, make bullets. Onwards. Well, we've been here for quite some time. It's been a slow recap. We really did a good job when we were here with the gang. I finally got a good signal that's, you know, not so questionable. Euphonious. So when we were here with Bill and Cliff, we pulled seven coins out of this place, and uh, six of them were large cents. That's got a nice tone, good numbers. Be nice to bring it to an even eight, right? And that would break the tie for the camera and coins hole. Right up in the logging trail about 50 feet away. Oh yeah, I see a rim. Look at that, huh? That thing's all bent up. Let me see if I can uh, dry it out a little bit real quick. Well, pretty sure it's a coin. As to what kind, I have no idea. It's definitely not a button, it's too thick. No spot for a shank. Well, right here, we've got, oh, it's bouncing, 88 to 86, no matter where I go. Oops. Over here. And, oh, it's a, uh, Cinnabon. Yeah, that took about five minutes. That's, uh, see the thread in there now, maybe? Maybe. A 
look at this. It's a keyhole escutcheon plate. But look at this with the wires in it. I've never dug one with stuff in it like that. Same place as the uh, coin, right in the right in the old logging road beside the hole. Very nice. So I'm working down across from the cellar hole itself where there was a little barn and JMO had dug a small eagle infantry button. Keeps dug a large scent. I was just picking through iron and sheet metal and I just popped a button out of the ground. I think it's another one, a large one. Whoa. Oh look, it's got hemp. Sure does look like it. Yeah. Keebs, that was so loud it sounded just like the 14 other pieces of sheet metal I just dug. Wow. And it wasn't uh, I don't know, a few inches deep. It's the old one. See, it's the old crooked neck. Yeah. Well, that made the hours of digging sheet metal and swinging through vag drill worth it. Well, that's where the button just came from. Over here, I had a very similar signal. I thought it was going to be the same thing, but it's another escutcheon plate. Nice fancy design. The barn is where it's at, I guess. So literally, it's almost time to go, and now I'm finding things. Look at this, like a suspender latch with leather. But check it out, it's got the uh, teeth in it and stuff. That was in the hole with that beautiful CCR I just dug. Yeah. I've resorted to pulling up a, a ringside seat here and just watching you. <laughs> it's more like a saddlebag uh, hmm. type. I just had to say no barking way because I'm still working. Look at this hole. That's where the latch C ring just came out of, and I dug another button, and it, I think it's it's another eagle button. Look at that. I'm sure the eyes in there. For infantry. Wow, every time I swing over the hole, it's like, wow, there's more in there. <laughs> yeah. I'll swing over it again. Oh, there's still something peeking in there. Yeah. Look at these damn roots I'm dealing with. Wow, musket ball. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it is. Very fancy, too. Look at that. Wow, this is the hole that just keeps on giving. Had to have been a, a drawer or a bureau or a chest or something here. Oh, <laughs> another one! <laughs> what? Holy mackerel! Wow! Dang! Another button! Another friggin' eagle button. <laughs> Look at that! It was outside of the hole. Yeah? Wow. Wow. What's that, four? That's five? four from right here. That's five, six from the site. suspender clasp. <laughs> Look at that. Can you believe what is coming out of this one area? Wow. Nice. Oh. Another escutcheon plate. Unbelievable. It is. Another iron button. Has that been running this whole time? Yeah. Oh my God, Keeves. No way. Another eagle button. Oh, oh my. Well, this oh. is going to go down in the record books, huh? Yeah. And, and you know, every single button here has a share. Oh my goodness. Except for those iron buttons. Part of a buckle. Oh my God. No. Another friggin' eagle button. Are you sure that's not the same one? Holy <laughs> crap. Wow. I got to pause. Yeah. You know, you always say you don't expect it. Well, today was like two hours, two and a half hours of nothing, and then boom. And look at this. This is the this is the area I'm working in, and we literally have to go, and I don't want to, but <laughs> let me check this hole a little bit more. This is insane. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. It's another one of those suspender latches with the thing hanging off the bottom. Isn't That's probably where I just dug the first one. Well, doesn't it figure? I'd love to sit there and pick that thing apart, but... <laughs> um, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to come back here and just open this friggin' thing right up. Oh yeah. Let's just cut a big hole or whatever. I mean, button was found over there. This whole hillside could be where all those odds and ends were. I mean, except for those eagles. You ready for the picture of everything that just, I mean, you can't say one hole because it's like, you know, a little bit of a, an area, but wow. Gotta work around the roots. All right, so we'll be back. Wow. wow. Didn't expect that. But as you can see, we were completely out of daylight. Doesn't that always happen? It's always the end of the day. Yeah, well, and it's getting further in the season. It goes down quicker. But earlier. the substance of this location and the finds is that with the help of Captain Ken, my buddy from the Historical Society, we tracked down the soldier who lived at that location. And his name was Warren. And he died June 1st, 1864. Where? <clears throat> Cold Harbor, Virginia. Which wow. was absolutely one of the worst days of the Civil War. Yeah, the Epic Center, gosh. Yeah, so it's a chilling thing to be able to extract these items, and we are now paying tribute to Warren for his service. Uh, we could not find where he is actually buried, but with such a, a massacre as Cold Harbor. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> well, that's a bit heavy, but that's history. Yeah. Wow. All right, well, on to something a bit lighter. We have a package from... Cat, Cat Stewart. Stewart. Ring, ring, mail call. Oh, <laughs> Donnie hey. Bailey. The Space Time Continuum Express Company. I think he's Santa wow. Claus. Oh, wow. Thank you, Cat. Hey, that's a beautiful ashtray sure from is. our buddy Gus. Give it to me. Oh, a book. We have a letter. Oh, season's greetings. Hope you all enjoy the little cards and small gifts that are included. Each gift is something out of my collection and was chosen especially for each stealth buddy. Hope it's a pony, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Hope to meet all of you in person one day. Until then, keep those great videos rolling. Love cat. Oh boy, well, I see we're going to be doing some handouts. Everybody will get what's coming to them. Charlie, that's me. Thor, KB, JB, Kibasan, JMO? Is he down in the man tube? Yep. Ninjen, well, she's right here. Um, that's Keeps. Oh, Keeps, I thought it was Keeps San. Beardo. Oh, nice cat, you sent oh, a spoon. Look at that. Fancies and everything. Spoon for the rafters. Yeah. Awesome. What do we got there, Keeves? <laughs> uh, it says, a gift for the whole shack. Uh, you guys really need to work on your word pronunciation. <laughs> Simultaneously. Yeah. Precedence? Pre uh, Precedencia. It's got mechanisms in it. Well, it, it was your density to, to dig that. <laughs> <laughs> I left the water halfway, like I always do. Right. You know? No mistake, I'm a snake. In well, it. that's what happens when you put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> <laughs> for, now, for now, it's all water under the fridge. Right. Survival of the fitness. <laughs> oh, put all your eggs in one basket. It's massive, and the suspension is killing me. <laughs> it, I know. I, mean, I can't wait to find out what it is either. <laughs> English vocabulary word. <laughs> Let's get down what we got. We got Lou. Where's the pony? Where's the pony? Well, you might be on the thing where you add water to oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that fancy car. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, this is one of her favorite tokens. 
They paid in script instead of cash. Wow. Look at that. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Whoa. This is a first. I'm sorry, I didn't May mean... May I speak? Somebody was actually at the door, but it wasn't... It wasn't Donnie Bailey. It wasn't Donnie Bailey. You tell Bailey? them what you got, and I'll bring in whatever. Wow. Okay. Hey, Jen. I dug this brooch at an old Victorian home site and thought you would truly appreciate its beauty. Enjoy. I am appreciating its beauty big time. Look at that. <gasps> Look at the fancy. Look it's at the super fancy. fancy. Oh this this is the first time this has ever happened that while opening a package we get a delivery. Oh, who's the boss? Al Manuel. Oh, Big Al. Oh, right. Big Al. Al, this one's gonna have to wait a few weeks because we weren't expecting. Wow, keeps. What'd you get? I'm expecting this. That's for sure. What are you doing? Looking it up? Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna put this one uh, in the uh, freight lift. Hey, Keebs, had a guy swear that this trade dollar was worth a fortune. What do you say? Trade dollar. Oh, wait a minute. Seventeen ninety nine. That's not the date of a trade dollar. It is the year that George Washington died, though. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Oh, I see. It's four, four, two, 420 grains, 900 fine silver. So this is actually... Oh, yeah. Silver bar, silver ingot, but it's in corn fashion. Wow, thanks, Kat. Well, Kat, we really appreciate you sending stuff from your personal collection. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. We will make sure that everyone else gets their gifts. But right now, let's do the insertion. Right about behind that fork, the mangled fork. Right there. Perfect spot. And we'll put your name on it, Kat. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kat. All right. Hey. So, obviously... Running out of daylight, all them finds, we're going back. And you're going with us. Oh yeah. Woo I'm, I'm not staying behind. No. So, crazy enough, there's still more stuff in that hole. <laughs> Why don't you count us out? A one and a two and a one and a two. Boom. We're back. It is the next day. We've been speculating about this particular spot we're standing in. We were thinking barn because it's across from the house where the barn would usually sit, but the footprint is extremely small. It may have just been the house, a shed, another building. It could all have been attached. This could have been the tack, the tack room even. And with all that stuff, we're thinking it was either in a keepsake box chest, a drawer or something because that was just a remarkable amount of items and diverse items. So I'm gonna set the camera up, put my gloves on, and we're gonna dig every signal we find here. Because when I started that hole yesterday, the signal was not clean or pure by any means, but I figured get in there, get it out, continue on. So here we go. This is iron button number 12, and nice little buckle. Look at that, huh? Beautiful. What'd you dig so far? Horseshoe? Uh, horseshoe and a nail. All right. But nothing. Targets. Another iron button. Yay! Oh yeah, I got a fancy button. I don't know if it's an eagle. Oh, I know what that is. What you got? What you got? Oh, Keebs. I think I got a mass state militia button. Good Way. Look at. See the oh, yeah. arm? It absolutely is. I can see it from here. Wow. Look where at, was this? Right here. <laughs> right where we were yesterday. With Shank. With Shank. There's, well, if there's one of those, there's got to be more. Yeah, uh, directly right here is where the epicenter was of eagle buttons. And this is just not even a foot to the side. Yeah, but this is a little bit different, isn't it? I've never dug a mass. Oh, no, I have dug a mass state militia, but mine was 1812 era. 
Yeah. It was the flat one with the, the guy standing, standing up. Oh, wow. All the details there. Uh, what does it say along there? It says Mass Volunteer right on it. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. To the arm. Oh, and sword. yeah. Beauties. All right. So, as you can see, I'm just peeling back the layers of earth. Jen is working just a couple feet over. And what have you got? Part of an escutcheon right here. That'll be cool to see if it's part of one of the broken ones I got. Yeah. Because I dug a piece right over here. Where are you? Right there? No, I got it from here. Oh, oh, awesome. So maybe it is a match. Yeah. Very nice. There's more in there. All right, so I'm grabbing my machine. I'm just heading a little bit up from here just to see what's going on. We got a little squeaker there. Iron button. That actually rang up a bit higher than I would have thought. Unless that's not it. All right, well, we've been here 20 minutes and we're still just poking, scraping, using the detectors a little bit to uh, see if we can isolate anything. I just got me an incidental find while looking for the metal find with my pinpointer. Let me show you the incidental, then we'll see what the metal thing is. Look at this. That is a very tiny bottle. Something they didn't want to sell in a large quantity. Yeah. Look at that. That little thing was hand blown into a mold. Mm. So then the metal thing is that. And what is that? Doesn't it almost look like something fancy that would hold a metal or something? Yeah. There we go. A couple more things. It's got the glass front, but it's not, uh, it doesn't have the the marks on it where it's domed. Shank. All the buttons have shanks. That's what I'm saying. This guy was just holding on to them. Oh, maybe it is the same. It looks it, yes. There we go, now they can see it in the light. It's a mini like little shield or something. Whoa. Oh, yeah, you do have something cool. Right? Here. Yeah. It's got gild on it. This is in a signature, like a hat button. It looks like a family crest, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, actually a uh, don't scrape this anymore. Was that the signal I said? Okay, I was thinking that. Was myself. that the signal I said? Just go ahead and dig it. No, that was over there. Nice. Well, I just, I just pulled out a match to the escutcheon bolt I dug yesterday. Beautiful. Stuff's adding up quick. Awesome. Do me a favor, I just dug this. Run your pinpointer on that. Uh. No, right? What the, what the heck? What's that made out of? Look at that. Oh. Oh, it's got writing on it. It sure does. The shank won't even pick up? Nope. Yeah, okay. I just found this scraping back the dirt. Wow, this place is crazy, wow. right? <laughs> A non-metal button. Good, good years. Patent 1851. Wow, very cool. Right, I'm going back to it. They're made out of stone. That's definitely shaped. I don't know, that's brittle. Right, that's what I was thinking like a... Huh. Yeah. Oh, it's a sharpening stone. Yeah. Well, I just dug a favorite find of mine. Drop hole. Same area. Amazing, you just shift the dirt around and what pops up. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. So, we've been here an hour and a half. Keebs is gone, he's orbiting. Jen's working up on the little hill there. Hey. Picking away. What a day. This is my cutesy spoon. Oh, nice. Just what the episode needed.
Yes. Wow, good job. Thank you. Wow, it's all complete. With a point on that. Yeah, excellent. Yay! Yeah, the signal is like all over the place. Nice rain scared. And it's very pretty. Yeah. Sure is. Oh, you're doing great. I'm keeping it. Well, it looks like we're getting to the end of the day. I can hear Keebs out there somewhere. Mm. What a location, huh? Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. Well, whatever this is, only rang up about 39. I don't know if it's just a cap to something or was it something fancy? Wow, he's literally just on the other side of the cellar hole on the, the back wall. Wow! Well, that was absolutely unbelievable. Wow! Yeah. Well, Be best hole ever at probably the best cellar hole ever for here in Saskatchewan. The virgin. The last virgin. So get a load of this. Out of that one small area. Little, yep, a little itty bitty. Six eagle buttons. Eight in total for the entire site including JMOs. And they are all of infantry. One mass state militia volunteers button. Wow. Three escutcheons, three suspender clasps, one C ring, one draw pull, one buckle, one sharpening stone, one tiny bottle, two musket balls, ten mixed buttons, twenty six iron buttons. And with other little tidbits mixed in, a total of 58 targets in a two foot by, you know, whatever spread out mixed area. Tiny area. So, go back to your sights. Swing over. Swing where your friends swung. Yeah. Because you just never know what the conditions are going to present you that day. Speaking of days, you're gonna have to wait till next week, but you have a day. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. I get my pony? Close. Till then, stay young. Always keep them guessing. Be kind always. Stay fancy. Long live the Constitutional Republic. God bless America. And live free or die. And I just noticed Lou walked on the beam and is gone. Where'd he go? Lou, you have to stay out of the beam. If you keep staring at it like that, you know what's gonna happen? Cataracts. Get it? cat -aracts. He ain't getting it. He's confused. He's dazed and he's confused. Yeah, well, let's see. This is a, oh, gosh, they're in numerical order. I'll never get that back in there. <laughs> okay. That would be numerical. Why are you give me the hard one? No one's going to use the word mendacious. <laughs> <laughs> what does oh, it even mean? I don't know what it means. <laughs> Oxygen. He's ain't got nothing on me. Okay, what do I got here? 50. Oh my God. 63 cents. No, wait a minute. 50, yes, yeah, 63 cents. One hit. One hit. <laughs> and it was a quick one. I wow, where do you show him that? You lost. Whoa. <laughs> what a fun. You like that? Yeah. Running a mission to die. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 64. Oh. oh yeah. He's up one, I got nothing. Here comes the irate. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, 
Look at her. Just watch. I'll be right back. I got it. Yeah.